If you are watching this, you are already participating in the modern web. The web we experience today is much different than what it was just 10 years ago. And with Web3, it's getting ready to change again. And these changes will matter a lot. Think about how the Internet affects your life on a daily basis. Consider how society has changed as a result of the Internet, social media platforms, mobile apps. And now the Internet is going through another paradigm shift as we speak. The web has evolved a lot over the years, and the applications of it today are almost unrecognizable from its most early days. The evolution of the web is often partitioned into three separate stages – Web 1.0, Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. Web 1.0 was the first iteration of the web. Most participants were consumers of content, and the creators were typically developers who built websites that contains information served up mainly in text or image format. Web 1.0 lasted approximately from 1991 to 2004. Web 1.0 consisted of sites serving static content instead of dynamic HTML. Data and content were served from a static file system rather than a database. And sites didn't have much interactivity at all. You can think of Web 1.0 as a read-only web. Most of us have primarily experience in the web in its current form, commonly referred to as Web 2. You can think of Web 2 as the interactive and social web. In the Web 2 world, you don't have to be a developer to participate in the creation process. Many apps are built in a way that easily allows anyone to be a creator. If you want to craft a thought and share it with the world, you can. If you want to upload a video and allow millions of people to see it, interact with it, and comment on it, you can do that too. Web 2 is really simple, and because of its simplicity more and more people around the world are becoming creators. And the weapon in scarred form is really great in many ways, but there are some areas where we can do a lot better. There are a few fundamental differences between Web 2 and Web 3, but decentralization is at its core. Web 3 enhances the Internet as we know it today, with a few other added characteristics. Web 3 is verifiable, trustless, self-governing, permissionless, stateful, and it has native built-in payments. In Web 3, Developers don't build and deploy applications that run on a single server and that store their data in a single database, usually hosted on and managed by a single cloud provider. Instead, Web3 applications either run on blockchains, decentralized networks of many peer-to-peer -peer nodes, or a combination of the two that forms of crypto economic protocol. These apps are often referred to as dApps, and you will see that term used often in the Web3 space. To achieve a stable and secure decentralized network, network participants are intensified and complete to provide the highest quality services to anyone using the service. When you hear about Web3, you'll notice that cryptocurrency is often part of the conversation. This is because cryptocurrency plays a big role in many of these protocols. It provides a financial incentive for anyone who wants to participate in creating, governing, or improving one of the projects themselves. Many web infrastructure protocols have issued utility tokens that govern how the protocol functions. These tokens also reward participants in many levels of the network. Parami protocol is building an AD 3.0 paradigm powered by blockchain for Web 3.0. Parami will create a brand new world to rest the universal advertising model for next gen. The Parami protocol is based on the Substrate blockchain development framework and the Polkadot cross-chain technology and the IPFS distributed storage technology to build the next generation digital advertising ecology. Parami provides a protocol stack for building a user-centric, tokenized advertising economy as a parachain built on Substrate, which is the most powerful open-source blockchain framework. Parami serves all the other parachains in Polkadot Kusama through Relay Chain. AD 3.0 is a native advertising system based on the Web 3.0 concept. It mainly solves the following three problems. How to establish a user-centric advertising system. How to gather the traffic on Web 3. How to improve the ROI of digital advertising. Now let's analyze the stages of advertising AD, in detail as well as the solution to each of these problems. The AD model is inefficient and not transparent. Advertisers are faced with scam and fraud, while users' data are being monetized without consent. 
Users become data slaves when they have no right over their data and cannot benefit from their engagement. Incentive ID returns parts of profits back to users, but users are still not in charge of their own identity and data. Data is dispersed and isolated in various apps and websites, where they cannot be aggregated and utilized. The ID network is democratic and governed by all token holders. The future network traffic is directly generated from the influence of each creator and token holders, instead of being acquired from a certain website or application. Users have absolute sovereignty over their own identity and data. They will receive smart reward based on their attention paid and relevant score. Parami provides users with a decentralized identity solution based on W3C standard DID decentralized identity and aggregates users' social media identities from other platforms and decentralized identities from other chains under this decentralized identity so as to obtain a more complete digital identity base. At the same time, Parami provides users with a light wallet based on social media platforms like Telegram or WeChat and a DID decentralized identifier, avatar solution integrated into social avatars, allowing users to interact with advertisements in the browser of social media platforms and get the revenue credited to their wallets, which is more convenient to use and easier for users to get into. Parami believes that the traffic of Web3 is no longer the traffic aggregation based on apps or websites, but the traffic aggregation based on people. Parami will provide social coin-based community member value connection for these DAOs, Decentralized Autonomous Organization. At the same time, DAO members usually have a common label, so the advertising and caching method based on this characteristic will be more targeted. In a sense, advertising for a DAO equals buying the social influence of all members of a DAO. Platforms like Uniswap and OneInch have already started to adopt an incentive model based on on-chain behavioral data for token incentives. Parami will abstract a user preference data model based on on-chain data on this basis, which will be used for port user incentive marketing of blockchain projects and for the future entry of traditional internet products. Parami uses zero knowledge proofs blind signatures and other privacy computing techniques to build a PCAP personal crypto advertising preference based on user DID which is a homomorphically encrypted user advertising preference profile which records the user's label and their values in different dimensions don't worry if you didn't understand much we will now break all these technologies in detail each time an advertiser gives an incentive to a user it has the right to rate the user on a corresponding label Due it to the homomorphic encryption feature, which is a form of encryption with an additional evaluation capability for computing over encrypted data without access to the secret key. This ensures that the scoring process is updated in an encrypted and homomorphic manner. Each time a user interacts with an ad and receives an incentive, the user is actually proving their knowledge of their tech label data. Zero knowledge proof is an interactive method for one party to prove to another that a, usually mathematical, statement is true without revealing anything other than the veracity of the statement. This helps cache on user at preference data while protecting privacy. The advertiser's payment is actually a reward for the preference data provided by the user. Obviously, the user's PSAP profile becomes a shared evaluation profile for all advertisers in the process of rewarding the users for ad placement. This profile can, on the one hand, better record the user's ad preferences by dynamically updating the user's interactions with the ads and on the other hand, reduce the emergence of people just fishing for incentives. The native token of the Parami protocol is AD3. It is a utility token that can be used in six scenarios. Settlement. The price of ID and the price of the token will jointly determine the number of rewards the user will receive for a single advertising campaign. Bidding. Use tokens to bid for advertising opportunities. Synthesizing. Use AD3 to generate social coins and NFTs. Paying. AD3 will be used to pay the operation fee. Governance. Vote and adjust the chain parameter. Staking. Stake tokens for mining and community development. Parami already raised millions in seed round to build AD3.0 for Web3.0. Investors include the ones that you see on the picture. Parami protocol team consists the highly experienced professionals in the field of consensus mechanism. 
privacy computation, cross-chain mechanism, and overall in the field of digital technology. Some members of the team were part of the Tron Network project, which is one of the largest blockchain-based operating systems in the world. Tron is currently on the top on coin market cap, with billions in the market capitalization. This concludes our review. Links to official Parami resources will be in the description. I tried to explain Parami in detail, but if you still have any question, feel free to ask them in the comments. And thank you for watching.